Hey guys, it's Katara here. I have actually been requested to do this video, which was super cool. I love when you guys request videos for me to do because it lets me know that you guys really want that kind of video. And I'm more than happy to make it for you guys. So if you have any video requests for me, put them down in the comments below. But today I'm going to show you guys my eyebrow routine. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyebrows. So let's get right into the video. As you can see, I have all of my face makeup done. I have all of my other makeup completely finished except for my eyebrows. I wanted to show you guys how I do my eyebrows because some people have actually been requesting this which I never thought would ever happen because they are a pain to work with sometimes. But I'll show you guys what I use. I only use three products when I'm doing my eyebrows and the thing that I used to fill in my eyebrows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil and this one is the brow definer I used to use just the regular one the original one that they've always had but I wanted to try this one because it sounded cool and um, what I like about this one is just the way it looks I don't know if you can see that the lighting looks bad but anyway and then I use this concealer it's the Rimmel London match perfection skin tone adapting concealer and I really like this I used to use it as a regular concealer but now I use it just to kind of clean up my eyebrows when I'm finished filling them in and I just use this um, brush with it for the concealer no big deal I have no idea what kind of brush this is so I'm a bad beauty guru and then the other thing that I use is this Maybelline Brow Drama. Um, it's just a sculpting brow mascara. It's got the little brush, helps all your little eyebrow hair stay in place all throughout the day. And I love this. This is the second time I've repurchased it, so it's very nice. I love it. I've got a mirror right here, so if I'm looking down, I, I like keeping eye contact with you guys, but these brows don't get on fleek on their own, so... First, I just used a little spoolie at the end, and by the way, I lost the cap to this part, so it's just always out like this. I actually dropped it down the sink, so I hope that doesn't mess anything up, but I just brush up, and then I start at the very ends of my eyebrows and work my way towards the um, beginning of them on the bottom, so I line the bottom first. I hope you guys can see this. Maybe I should use a different mirror. And then after I am lining the bottom of my eyebrow, I line the top of it as well. So I'm just going to take the little spoolie and brush it down now on my eyebrow hairs. It sounds so weird. Eyebrow, ha eyebrow hairs? Yeah. And now I take the spoolie and I just kind of blend. Um, first I blend down. So the line on the top I blend that down and then I blend the bottom upwards and this just kind of blends it all throughout my eyebrow so I don't have to fill in too much inside of like all the sparse spots in my eyebrows so it doesn't look like I have too much um, makeup on on my eyebrows and it doesn't make them look super bold because I don't really like that on me maybe someone else but I just don't think it works that well for me so whatever sparse spots I see I'll just kind of fill those in a little bit not too much because I don't want it to look like crazy bold that looks good. Alright, now on to the next one. I'll just do the same one on this eyebrow. Same thing. First I blend up. I mean blend up. 
Nope, I don't do that first. First, I brush up. And that's what they look like right now and then we are going to take the concealer and my little concealer brush and whoop, I'm dropping things here. so now I'm gonna take my concealer and I try not to use too much just because usually I do a pretty good job on keeping it where it needs to be so I don't need too much I don't like to get Oh my goodness gracious. Accidentally get did get a little more than I usually would out, but that's okay. But I just kind of put this under ooh, under my eyebrow just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I put like the concealer right under my eyebrow. So I can just go in with the concealer brush and really do most of it with that. I just use this just to put it on under and then concealer brush comes in, works its magic. First I take it and just do like this, I don't know what you would call that. And then I just kind of blend it downwards with my fingers and blend the rest that I didn't get with the concealer brush. Really sometimes I do get a little more than I'd like with the concealer so I'll just go back in brush it a little more make sure that everything looks good and if not I'll just go back in with the eyebrow pencil and just fill it back in so it looks nice. My eyebrows used to be just the absolute worst and I taught myself how to do them and I'm very proud of how far I've come. Look at me go. And now I'm going to take the brow drama and just first I upwards motions through my eyebrow and then I go through it like that and then I start at the beginning and do that again and then just at the top I bring it this way. Where's my oh. Those are my eyebrows. Look at them. Wow. Magic. And they actually didn't look that bad before I put um, all my eyebrow makeup on them. And yeah, I'm very proud of that because I actually suffer with um, trichotillomania, which is trick for sure. A lot of people don't like saying trichotillomania because that's long and obnoxious to say. So um, but I suffer with tri tri trick. I suffer with trick, which is basically a disorder where you just like impulsively pull out your hair, whether it be hair on your head, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, or really any hair on your body. And I've suffered with that for as long as I can remember. It started when I was little. I used to like playing with other people's eyebrows, but as I've gotten older, it's always been mine. So I leave other people's eyebrows alone, but mine not so much. But lately, I've been doing very well with just not touching them. And which is a, another reason why I love doing my eyebrows so much because once I have my eyebrow makeup on it makes me not want to touch them because I don't want to mess it up and I think it looks good so I'm very proud of myself for that so yay me pat on the back yay so there you go that's how I do these uh, bad girls bad girls these bad girls right here thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I make new videos every single Wednesday here on my channel so I will see you next Wednesday with a brand new video bye